I'm Curtis Howerton, Connected Equipment Manager for Berkey's Farm Store, and thank you for joining me for this episode of Staying Connected with Berkey's. Today we're going to go over a roll calibration on an AFS Connect tractor. So first we'll select the Operations button, and we'll make sure that we have a grower, a farm, and a field set here. After verifying we have a grower, farm, and field, we need to then make sure we have an implement set up before we can complete creating our guidance line. We're going to click the Auto Guidance Engage button and accept the Auto Guidance Engage terms. And now we're going to create a new guidance line. You'll see here we mark A, drive a little ways. And now mark B. Now it puts the guidance lines on the map. We'll test our auto guidance system, make sure it engages, which it does. Noted by the green steering wheel at the upper right. Now we're going to go to our menu and select GNSS and guidance. Once we're on the GNSS and guidance page, we'll go down to our calibrations on the right hand side and we'll do a roll calibration. We have two options, automatic or manual. We're gonna select automatic. Gives us some basic parameters here that we need to follow. And now we'll just follow directions on the screen. One end of our guidance line pointed the other direction. Record the position and now drive 400 feet in the direction. You can do this with or without auto guidance engaged. So I'll engage auto guidance. And now we'll drive the 400 feet. Now we'll stop. Then we'll turn around. And stop on the line. Select the record button. And now it's going to want us to accelerate to six mile an hour and engage our guidance on the guidance line that we created earlier. And drive back the other direction. So you can see we want to try to maintain a speed of six miles per hour. So now we're going to turn around. We're going to engage guidance going back the same way we just came from on the same guidance line. Again, maintaining that six mile per hour speed. You'll notice our cross track error. The tractor is actually moving to the left and to the right of the line during this calibration process. Now it's been completed. We have a degree roll calibration. So now we can either choose to make another pass or to be done. We're gonna to choose to make another pass. This will still be using the same 400 foot area we selected earlier. So we'll turn around and go back the other direction at six miles an hour, engaging our guidance again. A second pass is not required, but it will improve accuracy. It's best to perform the roll calibration on the accuracy level that we're going to be using in the field. For example, if we perform our calibration on WAS, but we're using RTK level accuracy in the field, our calibration will not be as accurate as it would be if it were completed on RTK. 
we finish that pass. Now we're going to turn around and then gauge our guidance on the line and go six miles an hour in the other direction. And now we'll select done. Shows a completion date of today. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Staying Connected with Berkey's.